What's happening, guys? Classic Chris here with Wrestling Talk's WWE Royal Rumble Preview Show. Now, I know what you're saying. This preview's coming out pretty late because the pay-per-view is tonight. Actually, it's in a couple of hours. But I apologize. I'm battling the flu right now. I haven't been feeling great the past couple of days. Um, yesterday, I recorded a preview show, but it sounded like I was too doped up on medication and I just was not making sense. So, hence why I'm doing this quick one right now. So, let's get right to it. Royal Rumble always one of my favorite pay-per-views growing up it it set the plateau for the year whatever happened at the rumble affected wrestlemania and tonight i am very worried why two names john cena and roman reigns i don't like these guys i do not find them entertaining if you're a john cena roman reigns fan that's awesome more power to you it's all opinionated but in my opinion these guys suck in the ring they're in work in ring abilities are subpar, um, nowhere, nowhere near main event caliber. Um, they're not good on the mics. Like John Cena cuts the exact same promo every time he's out. Roman Reigns still has trouble with his two lines. Believe that. And I'm not a good guy. I'm not a bad guy. I'm just the guy. Like fuck off, Roman Reigns. I'm not a fan of you. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Uh, I don't find you entertaining in the ring. And tonight, I have a gut feeling that the two people. That you don't want main event and going into WrestleMania are going to walk away at the championships. Because tonight, Roman Reigns is challenging for the Universal Championship. And John Cena is challenging AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. And I have a gut feeling that John Cena is walking away from the Royal Rumble, the WWE Champion, to set up his match with The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Because we all know Taker's going to win the Rumble. It's kind of obvious. Brock and Goldberg are going to do something to each other. That's going to eliminate the. That's going to eliminate each guy, and they're going to end up battling at WrestleMania. You know the big blow off match. This is where the problem lies with the Royal Rumble. It's becoming way too predictable. Like Batista, no one wanted him to win. Uh, uh, Roman Reigns in the final two with Rusev, no one wanted Roman Reigns to win. And the fact that Rusev was getting cheered over your quote unquote top babyface of the time. While Rusev was also bashing America, is getting cheered. Roman Reigns also got the Rock booed at that Royal Rumble. Who remembers that? Then last year, Roman Reigns, defending his championship in the Royal Rumble match, gets beaten up, just manhandled by a bunch of people he's taken on the Rumble, to come back as if nothing happened to him, Last till the final two, until Triple H, thank God, eliminated him. But Roman still went to WrestleMania, became champion. And I'm sorry, with these two guys main eventing, I'm so happy I only play that $9.99, $11.99, whatever the hell it is. Because if I was paying that $80 I used to pay for high def, there's no way I'm paying it for these two jamokes. No fucking way. They do not entertain me. They're not good. And I have a feeling tonight that WWE is going to fuck up. And you're going to see John Cena with the championship. And Roman Reigns with the championship. But let's get into the card. We got Roman Reigns versus uh, Kevin Owens Universal Championship match. With Chris Jericho. Suspended above in a shark ca- in a shark cage. Um, didn't they do this at the last takeover with uh, in Toronto with Paul Ellering being in a shark cage? Stupid, but they're gonna do this because you know Roman Reigns can get beat up by nine guys, get hit with every finisher, kick out a two, but one spear will win a match. Yeah, I I just left that uh, dead air there because I want people to think about that. Like the guy does not fucking sell. He gets up as if nothing hurts him. It's ridiculous. It, 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 it It's throwing the workmanship right out of the match. It, it, it sucks. Like, what story are you telling that you're a fucking genetic freak and no one can hurt you? Like, fuck, Roman Reigns, you're terrible. I'm going for Kevin Owens in this match, but I just have a feeling that Roman Reigns is going to win. It fucking sucks. Now, John Cena, like, I don't want to be ranting, but let's just get the ugliness behind us. Um, John Cena advertised all over this Rumble. Um, same with Roman Reigns. You look at the Royal Rumble poster, AJ Styles is fucking hidden on it. It's like, where's Waldo? You're, you're searching to find AJ Styles. He's like near the back. 
This guy's a fucking WWE champion. His one-year anniversary. The guy is over. The fans love him. Last year when he made his de debut, it was nonstop. AJ Styles. AJ Styles. And you're going to get that again tonight. And the fact that John Cena's going to end his championship run sucks. But, hey, they put on a good match at SummerSlam. I expect to see something equally as good. But, unfortunately, John Cena's going to walk out champion. Now let's talk about the Rumble match. Like I said earlier, we all know Undertaker's going to win. Um, I just don't know how entertaining this Rumble match is going to be. And that being said, you guys already know that I love the Rumble, but this year I'm just not really feeling it. I want to know, what match are you looking forward to? What match do you think shouldn't even be on the card to begin with? Who do you think is going to win the Royal Rumble matchup? Leave a comment with your thoughts. Like the video, subscribe, keep tuning into Wrestling Talk, and don't forget to check out my YouTube channel for Classic Chris, your home for everything Wrestling Talk, plus matches I call from Crossfire, Conflict Wrestling, Neo Wrestling Federation. It's all there. I'm Classic Chris, and this has been Wrestling Talk.